I received a question that said, regarding the signature, if I create an attendance sheet and add a request of the signature, how can I download the signatures in order to merge my responses with Word and fill a document automatically? This is such a fantastic question, not least because it's actually focused on how do we use the data once we collect it. So what we're gonna do today is actually take a look at how do we not only collect signatures, but use it in a useful format after we've collected it. Imagine that this is kind of the end result that you want to have. You wanna have something that looks like this, workshop attendance record, for example. A second really common example of this would be a distribution record. If you're capturing people's signatures and data during a distribution on Kobo Toolbox, how do you then simplify that data into a report at the end of the day that is very simple. It includes their signature on a, you know, a word-based format report that you could then give to your donor or your manager. So that's what we're going to focus on today. How do we take data and, and signatures specifically collected with Kobo Toolbox and ODK Collect, and how do we put it into a mail merged version of a Word report? So I've got a simple questionnaire here says test signature media form. We've got two questions already. What is your name and what is the date? And I'm just going to add a signature question. Please sign here. If I add that question, we will choose photo. And in the settings, we're gonna make this a mandatory response. And in the appearance, we're going to say signature. And that's it. I'm gonna save that. I'll upload it, I'll put it on my phone and we'll see you inside the data collection. Okay, so I am in ODK Collect. We're going to just tap fill blank form. There is my form and we're just going to fill this out. Um, so we've got um, a name, a date, and we're going to gather the signature. And we will save the form and exit. All right, so I'm gonna do that a few more times just so I have uh, some additional images to work with, maybe two or three more times. And then we will look at how do we get that data so that we can report it. Okay, so we are inside Kobo Toolbox in the server. We're in the data tab and we're over here in the table of data. Okay, so this is just going to show you your table of data. And then you can see in this column where we said, please sign here. It's just captured a JPEG image um, when we collected that on the phone. Uh, so if we go to then downloads, you'll be able to see that we can download the tabular data. All right, so that we're just gonna click export. It's gonna create an export down here and we can download that export as um, an Excel file. Now, you can also click over here to the gallery and in the gallery, you'll be able to see all of those images or signatures that you've collected essentially as images. That's how um, Kobo processes them. Uh, so you'll be able to see each of those signatures here. So also in the downloads tab, you then go to get those um, media files. You go to media attachments, a new export, and it will just create a new export for you. So the media export is separate from the data export. Okay, so that's the main thing to remember in this step. Once it's created that export, you can just click on that link and it downloads a zip file. Let's now just take a look at what that zip file looks like. So when we open it up, you're going to see um, it comes in a file name that has a long string of letters within the date and time that you downloaded it. Okay, 2021, 0701, 06, 14, 46. Okay, within that, it has my username. Okay, and then it has a file called attachments. And then it has Again, a very long string of uh, letters and numbers. And then within that, we then have a bunch of files and these are equivalent to the UUID number that's created um, for each new um, form you submit basically. So if we collect, uh, or if we click on that first one, you can see our JPEG file is in here. 
Um, and that is where it is. So it's a little bit um, finicky to kind of go and find because you need to know your UUID number, okay? So it's not very uh, clear. So if we then pop into our data file that we downloaded, okay? So this is the Excel file. And enable editing, we'll just expand all of these. Okay, and you can see that we've got our data things, uh, data uh, collected here. Um, you can see the JPEG link. And then what I'm talking about is this UUID number here. So A838E, blah, 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 blah. For that one, we would then pop into here, A838E, blah, 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 blah. And that is the image that is connected to this row of data. So that's Philippa and there's Philippa's um, signature. So what we now need to do is organize this in a certain way in the um, folder that we can actually then pull this data out into either an Excel file or a, a Word document and we can actually kind of figure this out. So. Uh, let us start there next. So in my um, file structure, I've just created um, a single file where, now I've put this on my desktop just so I can have this as an example, uh, but choose where you're going to store this um, on whatever uh, file structure, storage structure you're using. So you're going to have a folder. And within that, I've got my um my Excel file that I downloaded, okay? And I've got the, I've extracted my media into the same file, okay? So that's my username, Jana Data. So we just took a look at how that's um, structured. So in Jana Data, you've then got that same attachments, you've done, got the long list and then the UUIDs, okay? So I've got one file folder, uh, in that I have my Excel file and my media attachments, okay, in that path. So what I'm going to do, the very first thing that you want to do is open up your Excel file. And what we've got to do is we've got to create a path name, basically. Or a, a um, we've got to tell Excel where to go or Word, where to go to find these images. So what we want to do, first of all, is I'm going to create something called my initial path, okay? So this is kind of what, where we want to go. Now, all of the images have a shared directory up until this point, okay? And then we kind of have different UUIDs. So I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to control copy um, where I've stored these and I'm going to just paste it into here, okay? So there's this long kind of path or directory path where I've stored, where these pictures are stored. Now, what you want to do is make sure that actually, instead of only these single slashes, we've got double slashes, okay? And this is just super fun. <laughs> and how you work with data is so detailed. So there, we've got that. So that's the first thing we want to do. Let's copy that and paste it down, okay? So we've got exactly the same. That's the beginning of all of the, of all of the locations of all of the images. Then what we can do is just write a little formula to basically make the final path. So the final path, we're going to create a formula using concatenator, concat, okay? Open bracket. And what we want to do first is we want to put what the contents of that cell first. Then we put a comma. Then we need to put another double backslash, okay? So in quotes, put two more backslashes. Then put another comma. So then the next thing we want to have happen is the UUID comes next, okay? So go over here, find the UUID. So that's where the UUID is stored, comma. And then we want another double backslash. And then uh, your closed quotes and a comma. And then we want the picture ID, uh, JPEG. So the, the picture name, okay? So the JPEG um, link. And then we want to close that. So I'm going to basically close that. Now what I'll do, I'll put that formula. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just make this whole document downloadable. So I'll put the link in the description below and you can then go and download um, this. 
What you want to do is then copy that down and you can see that because we've created the formula, it keeps the first part of the path the same, okay? Because we created this kind of static part of the path here. And then the second part of the path, it's actually updated it to the unique UUID of each um, form and the unique JPEG number of each form, okay? So it looks a little bit complicated, but I think once you do this, um, it will be really straightforward from here. So what I want you to do now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to file, I'm going to save as, and we're going to save it in that same folder, but I'm going to say with path, okay? Test signature media form with path, okay? So this is telling me that this is the one where I've actually included the path, okay? Now there are different ways you could do this. Um, I'm just trying to uh, show you kind of a simple way to do this. All right. Um, and I say simple and now you're probably thinking I'm crazy and it's complicated, but that's fine. <laughs> um, we're figuring it out. So if you have a better way, you can let me know. Okay, so open up a new Word document. What I'm going to do and what I want you to do is just set up however you want your um, final report to look. So I'm going to put in um, landscape. I'm going to put in a title. So this is my attendance record report. Um, and then I'm going to insert a table that's three columns by five uh, rows because I basically have name, date, and signature as three columns of data. Um, I'm going to just format this very quickly and you can do this however you want. Now the next thing you want to do for um, this uh, this table basically is go to layout and what I want you to do is in cell size go to your rows and I want you to specify the height whatever height you want um, them to be and we're going to say row height is exactly 1.5 centimeters okay and then um, under auto fit okay especially here we want fixed column width okay and what I'm going to show you how to do now is how to merge your document, okay, with your Excel file, okay? So select recipients, use an existing list, and I want you to then navigate to wherever you saved uh, that, that Excel file that we've just created that says with path. If you open that, um, you're then going to be able to select whatever um, tab it's in, okay? Say, okay. And then we can actually insert what is your name. So insert a merge field. And then in date, we can insert the date. And then in signature, what you might think is you might want to say, please sign here as the signature. Okay. When we click on preview results, we then see Philippa, that's the date. And that's the name of the file where the picture has been saved. Okay. That's in our path or anything. Um, but you can kind of see how that works. So if I tick that off again, now we want to also put the next person in the next um, row. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it here. So if we preview the results now, we'll see actually it will just put the same person because it thinks you just want to put one person, uh, one person's data here. And then when you merge them, it will put in new people in new pages. But no, we actually want this to be the next person, don't we? So in front of here, you're gonna click on rules and click on next record. So it just inserts next record. So now when we preview the results, we actually see Philippa and then Eric. Great, so we're getting somewhere. Then what I want to do is copy this and we wanna paste these here and preview. And now we have all four of the people that are in my test data set, okay? All right, so that is kind of number one. I might even um, want to just you know, if that's all you want to do is just a mail merge, you can, you know, center everything. It looks quite nice. You can change um, the font and, and size and everything. That's fine. But actually what we want to have happen is instead of these signature names, we actually want to have their image show up, right? <laughs> so let us go back to mailings. We're not going to preview the results. We're then going to delete all of these. And then we're going to do something that's a little bit more complicated on your... Um, Keyboard. So what I want you to do is press 
Alt and F9, okay? And when you do that, all of these uh, fields will change and they'll look a little bit more like code. And then what I want you to do is in the signature box, press Control F9 and you'll have these little brackets appear. And in all caps lock, I want you to put include picture, okay? And then Control F9 again and put if space true. And then I want you to put an open quote and put insert merge field, and then I want you to put your path, okay? Put a closed quote, and then at the very end, just before the last bracket, I want you to put backslash and D. Okay, and what we wanna do is we're gonna copy that, paste, 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 okay? Hopefully this works. Um, I feel like images and mail merge are finicky, so um, you might have to, Try this a couple times for it to work, but here we go. We're gonna press Alt F9, and then we're going to press preview results. Yay! And we see that Philippa, and that's her signature, Eric, and that's his signature, Joanne, and that's her signature, Maria, and that's her signature. So that is actually how you do it. What you can do, you can just finish and um, merge. I would say choose edit individual documents. You can say all. And there, we have our final, uh, final um, document and you can then save this, print it um, and put it as an attachment to your proposal or your uh, final report. And that is how you basically turn your signatures that you collect during using Kobo Toolbox into a Word document um, report where you have the images included in a merge, uh, a merge file. Okay, hopefully that's helpful. Again, I'll leave the documents that you can download in the, um, I'll leave a link to that uh, download below the video. And I will see you again soon with another video for how you work with Kobo Toolbox data. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah.